This is your weekly Warzone report, where I let you know the meta guns and report from any news and updates that you may have missed from the week. Season 1 Reloaded just went live that brought a whole raft of changes, of which I will cover off the highlights in this video, but for a more in-depth breakdown, you can find that video on my YouTube channel. However, there was one additional update since that Reloaded update, and that was basically nerfing the MTZ Interceptor and the Swarm, so they're completely useless now. Moving on to the close range meta, we're looking at three guns, the AMR9, the HRM9, and the Striker, with a recently buffed AMR9 being the most dominant of the three. Moving on to long range meta, things are really close here, with the Ram 7 and the Holger 26 LMG being the best options, with the Holger sporting a silencer and low recoil, but the Ram 7 requires the Jack BFB muzzle, meaning you'll always be on the minimap when firing, but the gun does give you a significantly faster time to kill, so there is a good trade off between the two here. Then for solos and duos, the MTZ 762 is the go to gun, as it stays pretty close to the Ram 7 in terms of time to kill, but it does run a silencer, so it's really a toss up between the two here. Moving on to the news and updates. Season 1 Reloaded saw a raft of nerfs and buffs. As you can tell from the recommended guns, this has completely shaken up the meta. One that I haven't really mentioned so far is the Cat AMR got some pretty heavy nerfs to, to itself and the attachments that it uses. So the sniping meta is really open at the moment, so you can get away with using quite a lot of different guns there. Also, with that Season 1 Reloaded, it saw a bunch of game-breaking bugs brought into the game. But to the devs' credit, they pulled an all-nighter to sort out the game and bring it back to a good playable state. So if you are freezing whilst accessing your loadout or running into various other bugs, they are now fixed. One of the other major improvements I'm sure you'll be glad to hear is that audio has been adjusted. So there is major improvement to the audio occlusion, making footsteps take higher priority than other things. Also, yours and your teammates' footstep audio, jumping audio, and sliding audio has been thinned out, making it really easy to distinguish yours and your teammates and enemies' audio from one another. The Champion's Quest or the Nuke Contract has also been reintroduced to the game, but with a slight change of giving you the option between and getting five wins in a row or 30 wins in a season to activate the contract, making it way more accessible for the average player. The devs have also made one more announcement for an upcoming change, which is a great quality of life update, and that is this will appear on your minimap when an enemy launches a precision airstrike, giving you more information and knowing which direction it's coming from, so knowing which wall to hide behind and which windows and doors to stay away from. But don't forget to like and subscribe to see your next weekly Warzone report.